Five years, I got to see the shit myself. My name's David Mack, a little from here, went to Mitchville. Uh, played, at, uh, played, you know, in here, played basketball, football, ran track. You know, most time, a sport athlete, like most of you guys here. Uh, went on, uh, became All-American in high school, went on to Penn State, got, uh, went there on full scholarship. Uh, first day I got there for training camp, uh, uh, Joe set me down in his office, Joe Paterno, which I feel like is one of the best uh, legends, one of the best coaches I've ever played in the coach the game. Uh, set me down. I was getting recruited uh, from all, you know, from at least 30, 40 colleges, uh, going from either Penn State to Tennessee was my last two choices uh, to play running back. And I was a scat back. And I knew Penn State had Curtis Enos at the time, which was a huge running back at the time. But I was going to come in there and play scat back. Joe set me down, uh, and, and I had to face some adversity my first my first day there. Uh, Y'all say adversity with me. Adversity. 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 We all have we all have adversity in our life. We all come from different backgrounds. Everything isn't gonna peach, be peachy and creamy all the time. But if you if you're able to sustain the bad times, get through the bad times, say attitude. Attitude. The attitude gotta be right. That's the first thing. Right? The attitude gotta be right. I was a multi, you know, I, I played I played different positions, ran a punch back, played offense, played defense, played safety. So uh, coach sat me down and said, hey, look, we think you're gonna be a, a great running back, but we think you'll be even a better corner. We think that you could uh, be special here, and we think you can play for a long time in the NFL. Uh, I didn't like it, you know. Uh, I had to go up and get some adversity. I called my pops. I said, D, I could, I could be playing running back anywhere else, uh, but they want me to play uh, defense. So I had, to, uh, I had to adjust my attitude, and I had, I had to suck it up, and I said, you know what, I'm going to play defense. Uh, went out there, played corner, became an All-American corner at Penn State. Play for Joe Paterno said I was one of the best corners he ever coached. Uh, went on to the NFL, got drafted. But my attitude had to be right. I had to put aside my pride. I had to put aside the, 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 the ego. It's nothing wrong with having a little ego. You got to have confidence, but you have to have the right type of ego. And uh, when I did ball, uh, my attitude had to be right, like I said. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I take that story with me wherever I, wherever I go because, you know, not all the time are you going to be playing the position you want to play. But as long as you do what you do 100% uh, of the time, you know, I promise you, you'll get the results that you want. Uh, Attitude is the first thing. These, these pieces of paper that I get that I gave you guys. Uh, these are just some of the statistics right now. Let me get one of those sheets right quick. Uh, you, you guys are seeing. This is this is just a chart, just to let you guys know. I'm, I'm a living testimony of, of somebody who, who made it. All right, and uh, you can also make it. I'm, I'm here to tell each and one of you guys, whatever you want to do in life, whether you want to be a doctor, lawyer, professional athlete, you can do it. But these are just the stats right here. All right, guys. And uh, for men's basketball, for high school students, we got 545, roughly, uh, 1,000 basketball players. Football players, we got a million, 1.1 uh, million guys. And then if you see NCAA here, uh, football is 67,000. And then out of those 67,000, yeah, you, you see 255 of those guys get drafted. All right? And then after those 255 guys are drafted, only, only about uh, a handful of those guys going to make it after a year, a year and a half. So what's that telling you guys? Somebody, somebody tell me what this, what this chart is saying. That is not easy. That's a, that's a good, that's a good answer. Anybody else got? Look at the top of the sheets. Everybody ain't gonna make it. What's your name? EJ. 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 Everybody's not gonna make it. All right, Slim Chance. All right, that that doesn't mean that you guys aren't great at whatever you do. All right, the statistics are everybody out here is not gonna make it to the NFL. One of y'all, two of y'all, man, who, whoever it might be. Then that's up to you. If you don't like to compete, guys, sports isn't for you. That's that's what's one of the first things I, I wanted to say. That you gotta want to compete. You gotta love to compete. I got I grew up with guys here, even uh, Marcellus Harris, who coached over at Denby. I mean, we we used to beat them out on the field. They they used to want to knock me out. I used to want to knock them out. But after the game, we come and hug and we shake hands. But we showed good sportsmanship. But while we were on the field, we competed. I mean, you gotta compete, guys. You gotta compete in everything that you do. Going back to the sheet, which is basically saying, you know, education, guys, education. And, and I won't sound cliche, but you, you need to get an education. You need to be a student athlete first. You know, we all, we all have been labeled as athletes, as, as dumb jocks. And, and for African-American young men, it's quote unquote that this is the only thing we know how to do, and that's not true, all right? We are, we are student athletes. And why do you want to be a student athlete? Because the statistics show if you don't, if you don't come out of high school with a proper education, and you don't, and not saying that you have to go to college, but with a proper education, you're not going to be allow yourself to get a, a decent job. And you know what happens to guys who don't have decent jobs? You know where they end up? On the streets. On the streets. And you know what happens on the streets? 
I don't have to tell you what happens on the street. You got to find a way, and you're going to find, most likely you're going to find the wrong influence. All you guys are here being positive. You all pull each other out here. These are the guys that y'all should form this family with. Continue to uplift each other. Stay positive in each other's lives. All right, because we know what's right and we know what's wrong. We don't need to have that discussion. But most, most of the time, if you don't have that proper education, if you don't get to find something, hone in on a craft. This is a craft for you guys. Hone in on this, on this skill that you're learning. Okay? This is something that can take you far, far in life, whatever it is. But you gotta, you gotta, I use this analogy all the time. You guys are divvying up in your bank account right now. All right? You want to get to the, to, the, to the state championship next year, right? Yes, all right? Sir. State champions aren't won in, in, in August or September. State champions are won today, tomorrow. Every day that you come out here, I didn't just hop up and buy a Mercedes or, or buy a half a million dollar house or a million dollar house or whatever you want to buy as a professional athlete. It doesn't, it doesn't happen like that tomorrow. It happens like that today. It wasn't, it wasn't one of the things that I would say, hey, look, I, I did want to be a professional athlete, but I had to put in that work every day. Every day you step out of here, you're putting a, pay, a penny in that bank account. Now, you might not have a million dollars right now, but, but today you're putting a penny in that bank account. Tomorrow you're going to put another penny in that bank account. And how, how, however many dollars y'all need to have by the start of kickoff next year, every penny that you put in there, best believe you're going to have your goal. Once you reach, once you get there next next uh, season, for 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 the for the kickoff of the next season. So every everything that you're doing today is going to affect tomorrow. That's that's the analogy that I use sometimes because you are your own investment. What you put in your head, that's that's your investment. If you want to jack around in the classroom, that's your education. All right, because somebody's going to be you. Nah, you literally don't want nobody to come come and stick their hand in your pocket and take the money out of your pocket. You're not going to let them do that. So at the same time, if you got somebody in there jacking off in the, in the, in the classroom, and, he, and he's taking away from you learning, from you getting to the next level, that's the same thing, all right? So take your education serious, guys. This, this sheet right here is just letting you know that, hey, look, you can be a professional athlete, but be a well-rounded uh, athlete. Be able to go and talk to people. Be able to get a point across to people, network, rub elbows. You guys got uh, classmates that are great in computers, that are great game makers. You guys heard of that Black Ops game? They came out and made a half a billion dollars in 24 hours. Well, these, well, these kids are just like you. These kids are going to, to computer schools and all these different things. So I'm saying, hey guys, be be multitasked. Don't don't be don't be labeled. You be an athlete, a student athlete, be a great athlete. But at the same time, when somebody has wants to hold a conversation with you, be able to talk to them, be able to let them know about yourself. You know, and listen to these coaches. Thank them every day. Because I, I know they got families and they got responsibilities as well. And some of them are, are active fathers for you. So thank them in everything that you, in, that you do. But most of all, when you thank them, thank them by the way you conduct yourself. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. Yes, coach. No, coach. Conduct yourself well. Don't thank them with just your mouth. Thank them with your action. All right? Make these guys proud. And that's the first thing, guys. Take care of your school work first. You know, being an athlete, you guys seen the game last night. Y'all watch the Reds hands? I tell young guys all the time, being an athlete, people say, man, you, you kind of, you, you know, uh, being an athlete is kind of risky. It's, it's day to day, guys. All right, you you want to do something, you want to be a professional athlete, be that professional athlete, but it's day, it's day to day. Because you one play away from, from ending your career. I've seen young guys come to the league and end their career in one play and be done. All right, so that's not saying that, hey, you can't be an athlete, you can't be a great athlete, but in anything in athletics, it's a risk. If you step out on that field, it's a risk. You guys see a lot of these hits now, and guys getting fined left and right. I think it's crazy, but it is what it is. <laughs> you know, uh, you know they're trying to cut down on helmet to helmet contact. If you out there hitting guys, anything's liable to happen. Because as a defensive player, if I go back in the room the next the next day with my teammates, the coaches get fussing at us. We got a job to do. Uh, and if you don't make the play, you gonna get cut. So. It's either, it's either you make the play or you don't make the play, all right? So as defensive players, we, we got to protect ourselves too, but, but it's, it's, a, it's a lot of mix-up, you know, with the NFL right now. So with that being said, guys, it's a contact sport. Um, your, your job as a defensive player is to intercept the ball, play ball first as a, <coughs> as a, as a secondary player, see ball, hit ball, but if you can't get the ball, dislodge the ball. Make sure that he don't catch the ball, right? And that's a part about uh, being competitive. But at the same time, we do want to – we do want to protect ourselves. Don't don't lead with your head. Don't 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 be you know. Don't 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 try to uh, kill yourself. Keep uh, get having your head down, and you might hurt your spine. All that great stuff. But I only know one way to go, and that's to go 100%. That's the only way. That's the only way to go. So 
with all that being said, guys, continue to put in that work out here, man. I just want to come out here, you know, and give it, give it, just some lighten, lighten y'all a little bit, give you a little bit about my life. If y'all got any questions, feel free to ask me. I don't know how much time y'all got out here, but uh, that's that's pretty much pretty much pretty much for me. Take those sheets with you if you don't have if you don't have a copy, get a copy from one of the guys, and and and, and take that stuff serious, guys, because you don't want to result to the streets. You don't want to have to say how somebody comes to you, hey, look, man, we can we can make we can flip this love. You know, and I'm so glad, guys. Last thing, and then y'all hear from me. I'm so glad I had I had some classmates in high school try to get me to sell drugs, try to get me to smoke weed, and I'm so glad that I didn't make those decisions back then. Because guys who were trying to make those quick flips, that quick hundred dollars, I mean, I made I made millions. I mean, that little that little success that you might have right now, getting that hundred dollars or two hundred dollars or whatever, it ain't worth it. Whether you want to be a doctor, lawyer, like these these coaches, some of these coaches, are teachers, it ain't worth it, guys. You know, invest in yourself, all right? Make the right choices. Life is about choices, man. You got a chance to make the right choice. You guys obviously are making the right choice being out here today. Guys who didn't, who aren't out here aren't benefiting from this conversation. They don't understand my passion or what I'm trying to tell you guys is that you guys, all you guys can be great. I'd love to see all y'all su be successful, and you will be successful in whatever you do. All right, so I just come out here to give you, and it's fun, man. This is what we do. It's fun. Have fun. Enjoy what you do. Love what you do, all right? But, but by what, but when, while you're loving what you do, man, take your life serious, all right? If nobody takes your life serious, you take it serious. Right? If, if something hap has happened to you in your past and, and your father or your mother is not here, these coaches are here. Don't let that be an excuse. Don't let that be an excuse. Don't let have a not, not having somebody in your life be an excuse for you not to make it. You say, look, hey, look, I'm, I'm going to do this. When I have my kids, I'm going to be this type of man, all right? Don't let that be an excuse, all right? You, you got that from.